Hey everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to episode 5 of my Dankenropa V3 Killing Harmony Let's Play. In the last episode, we finally had the first murder, and shockingly enough, it was Brent Haro who bit the dust. So we are about to start the investigation. Hopefully I can have it all contained in this episode and we can get right to the class trial in the next episode. But based on how long this game is apparently, I don't know if that's going to happen. So either way, let's get into it. Let's start the first investigation of the game. All right, so here we go into the investigation. And if you guys have noticed, uh, in messing with the resolution a little bit more, now I have black bars on both sides of my screen, so yay! We're gonna call this an artistic choice, at least it's centered, so I'm okay with this for now. I'll keep messing around with it, hopefully I'll find the sweet spot, but that is not what the concern is right now. The concern is finding out who killed Brentaro. Um, then I'm guessing the body is back there, so let's first see what there is around here to investigate. I guess a good thing to do would be to talk to everybody and see what their alibis were. But why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? That is the big question of the day. I don't understand that. Huh? I still don't understand that. What? Then. The culprit must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. Hmm. True. I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Oh dang, uh -huh. I didn't even think about that. Everyone? That is correct. I guess if they want to sow despair, that's a pretty good way to do it. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. So they're risking their life at being found out if it means they could potentially kill all of us. Um. But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Well, true. Killing us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. Yeah. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. So if the mastermind truly is one of us, and that first blood perk, was that even like, it was just thrown out there? I guess one of us could have just decided to kill someone first rather than have the mastermind do it? And then, you know, then we could have walked away, because if it was anybody but the Masterminds, they would have jumped at the chance to get out of here. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I don't know if I'm wording it very well. Um. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? No one even touched it, so how did that happen? Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. Is that alright? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase... He let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit... Oh, it closed on its own. Hmm. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Also, um, I've, I've been messing with the uh, audio a little bit more. I turned the background music down a bit, so hopefully that means you guys can hear the voices a little better. But wait, if the bookcase closes itself after you enter enter the hidden door... Uh, oh, maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Rantaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. And then there's like a secret entranceway where they can come back out and meet up with everybody. Let's check that now. Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. 
Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Huh. Hmm. What if the mastermind replaced the dust after they used the card reader? No. No, I remember exactly where I put the dust. This hasn't been moved at all. Okay. Well, dang, that makes things a little bit more complicated. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. So I guess we'll have to wait until the uh, pictures develop to really get a good idea of what happened. Then the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rentaro himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get the pictures back. There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. I see. So, without giving spoilers, I want you guys to let me know, what do you think of this first class trial that's coming up? Do you think it's on the better side? Do you think it's like kind of on the weaker side? I'd like to hear your opinions. Usually you guys uh, will let me know about like the, um, the class trials. I've heard a couple people say overall the class trials in this game, there's one in particular that's really good, but you've been good about not mentioning which one it is. Uh, but overall, you say that they're kind of on the weaker side. So maybe, I don't know, would it be too much of a spoiler for you guys to even let me know if this is a good class trial coming up or not? You'll know better than me, so leave it to your discretion. Well, I still think the Mastermind is the culprit. Um, so we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the Mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way, too. Alright, I'm wondering if it's worth it to talk to Shuichi. Ugh, I was like, well, I, you know what? I don't want to talk to you. Uh, I don't want to talk to you either, Mew, but like, I have to talk to everybody. Don't talk to me, crotch itch. I'm fucking busy. Mew continued ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. Dun dun dun. It's a prone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Actually, if it was a prone, it would team up with the rest of the uh, Ganglion Alliance to destroy humanity. I don't get that reference. I have no idea what she's talking about. Well, I'm glad Kaede and I are on the same page. Then... Wait a second. The controller is... <laughs> now you're getting a dick cheese. I gotta say, I do like her insults. Crotch rod and dick cheese. They certainly paint a picture. She laughed obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma. It's a drone! I told you that's a drone. If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. I don't get it. When did you have time to make this? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Oh yeah, the RC plane was in the warehouse as well. I decked it out with a camera that'll take perfect aerial photographs. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. You know what I gotta say, I don't really like Mew's character, but at least she's thinking ahead and she's actually being helpful. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative no. legwork. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course there was gonna be an ulterior motive for it. Drafting a floor, a floor plan with photos? Hmm. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way! The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I can't do shit about that, so just calm your tiny tits and shut up. jeez. Uh, shut up! My- I was gonna- okay. I'm sorry if it- <laughs> if this is- but I'm just like, Mew keeps saying that Kaede is like flat and has tiny tits. I'm like, she really doesn't though. My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. <laughs> what did I do? Udders? Udders? Actually. You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured us, this happened. That motive he gave us, uh, that motive he gave us is part of it, and so is that strange music. That's terrible. He pl 
play that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. I wonder if there was like, because you can hear about, I want, and maybe Kaede will say something about this, about how certain music uh, can affect your mood. Uh, like if you play something at a certain decibel or whatever, um, like there's been movies that have used that. They've used songs and they've played it at decibel levels to make you feel uneasy because it's unnatural. And it gives you like a feeling of like nausea and anxiety. So I wonder if that was the idea behind the music. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rantaro. It was just because they wanted to stop the music. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind. So this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Oh, so maybe there there is something to my theory. Um, uh, okay. So I know we checked out the moving bookcase, but it doesn't hurt to take another look at it. The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Remember. It's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. No, it's alright. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. You can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. Smart thinking. Uh, near the body. Uh, is there anything else? I, maybe I should talk to Shuichi. I just had a really bad thought, and I don't want this to be true, and I don't even know if it's possible, but when Shuichi ran, like, when the receiver went off and he ran down uh, to investigate what was going on, maybe he turned the receiver off and he was able to kill Rantaro without, you know, having the cameras go off and then there would be no evidence, so they would just have taken pictures of Rantaro, but there would be, you know, if Shuichi is the only one who is able to actually turn off the cameras, then there would be no evidence of him doing it. But at the same time, why would he think to do that, but then he offered to give the receiver to uh, Kaede? So it doesn't seem like it was a premeditated thing, but that was just a thing I had in my head, and I, God, I do not want that to be true, but I'm just, my mind's starting to think of its crazy theories, um, what am I doing here? I want to go near the body. Did I talk to Shuichi yet? I was so busy giving out my hypothesis, Shuichi. I forgot. Hey Shuichi, I need some advice. What do you think we should check first? I'm thinking about it too, but since you're a detective, you might know more than me. That's true. He's like, the body? That's kind of obvious. If, uh, is if the areas where we place the cameras have changed in any way. Like the bookcases, the vents. Oh, the vents. Okay. I feel like there might be clues around there. Mm-hmm. I see. If I also, I think there may be clues around Rantara's body. It might be hard to do, but... Well... And finally, we need to hear from everyone here. One of them might have noticed something we missed. Yeah. Okay, so I have talked okay. to everybody. So, we need to check out the body. We need to check out the vents. Trying to remember where else the cameras were. Hmm. Pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rentaro's body? Uh, um. Yes, if we want to find clues, we have to. You know, it's it's kind of nice that they flip the thing where it's like, um, Kyoko was a very competent, and I'm not saying that Shuji isn't competent, but she's very confident in her abilities to be a detective, whereas he is a little bit more unsure of himself. If it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. My mind was set, and I started to walk towards Rantara's body. I don't know why she would volunteer to do this, why she wouldn't let the detective do it, but, you know, that's, that's just me saying. The last time I saw Rantaro, he was alive and well. Hmm. Why did Rantaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Remember. I mean, if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, that would mean he came all the way over here after the bookcase opened. He moved away from the hidden door to this spot. Why would he do that? 
and there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Are you okay? You've gone pale. Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rantaro's sake, but also so that we can avenge him. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Hey! Kaede, uh, sorry. Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I feel bad for thinking that he would be capable of this, but everybody is a suspect. Except for Kaede, because I know where she was at the time. She's the only person I can rule out 100%. Jeez. Sort of. You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Ah, uh, right. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be? A shot put ball? Could it be? Yeah. Yeah, it definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon. Oh god. It's fairly strong. Don't point at my boy Gonta. Please no. Fairly strong, huh? So when we think of strong, we think Gonta and Tenko are the two most, most athletic people here. Hmm. I know we need to examine his body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. It's okay. I can do it. Shuichi showed no hesitation as he began to examine Rentaro's body. Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so, we can trust the Monokuma file? Uh, okay. Yes, for now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rentaro's pocket. Huh? Wait, what are you doing? Uh, um... I'm checking what he had on his person. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I would support you, after all. How can you say that with so much confidence? Kaede, you're the one who wanted him to be more confident. Come on, Kaede, pull yourself together. Hmm. Rentaro had in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his, and it's exactly the same model as ours. Um. He didn't have a card, uh, card key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. Uh. Then Rentaro really wasn't the mastermind. Hmm. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the card key. So, with what we know now, that's the most likely possibility. Why was Rantaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? We've finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so we also need to check the vent, right? Hmm. Oh, okay, I guess not. Something is bothering me. Well, maybe we have to go up to the classroom and investigate it from there. Something's bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh. I'm guessing it had something to do with Rantaro mentioned earlier. It's not about uh, uh, outfoxing everyone in the killing game, it's about ending the game itself. That's the real goal. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be? Then it's possible he noticed the hidden door in the library just like we did. Huh? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past him. He seems pretty, like, uh, observant of things. What? Uh, um... He might have come to the same conclusion we did that the mastermind would come here. You mean he had the same idea as us? No way. He should have told us. Uh. We could have worked together. Aww. I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. No, he probably couldn't risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone. I have you, Kaede. Oh, sorry. I have you, Kaede. But Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. Hmm. 
That might have been the only difference between me and him. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Come on, Shuichi, be cool. Like I said, I, I really like these two together as partners. Kaede, let's go. We can't waste time now. You're not gonna give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Yeah. Shuichi. He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. Thanks. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh? Shuichi is right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to have uh, I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We've got to find the mastermind. All right. Oh, jeez. Right, Ryoma. Hey, you're so little. I forget that you're there sometimes. Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. Uh, oh, I want to know too. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Huh? Uh. Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? That's how it looks to me. But. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to, to suspect others more? You got some real observant people in this uh, group. You got Ryoma, Rataro, Shuichi. <laughs> Let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Ooh, is that a reference to like... Some sort of new twist on the class trial? Okay. Uh, the vent, yes. The vent is open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the duct. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through here. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay, is there anything else at all that I'm missing here? Ah, uh, there's the exit door. This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs and it leads to the hallway. Uh, By the way, this is a sliding door. See? It opens when you slide it. Uh, yes, okay. I saw that. She's like so proud of that. Mm -hmm. Do you think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, mm. I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the monocubs. Mm. You're right. We'll just have to wait. Okay, so who- what else? Um, the ladder? Maybe. Maybe there's something to this. I want to touch the globe. But I know there's nothing really to it. Oh, can I smack things? Oh, I can too, even during the investigations. Alright, this is fantastic. Never stop getting those monocoins. I'm just clearing up space. I, I, I'm not messing with the investigation scene or anything. Like, I love how everybody was like, you know, like, don't, don't screw around with the scene of the crime. And here I am just smack, 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 smack. Oh, yeah, I guess we can check out these doors, too. Check out the entrances. Makes sense. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over... That's true. We found Rantaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. I wonder if Rantaro entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the Mastermind did, too. That's... When we see the pictures after the Monocubs develop them, that will be clear. Aww. I guess all we can do is wait. Alright, that's gotta be it, right? Like... Do I have to check all the bookcases as well? Hmm. Doesn't seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Oh yeah, that's right, we did set up the camera. Remember. The books that you stacked up, uh, haven't moved. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Uh, 
Okay, we're finally done in this room. Um... Kaede, I think we've investigated the entire library now. Um... But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the Mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those... Then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Hmm. Keep investigating? That's true. I think we should collect alibis. Oh, we gotta talk to everybody. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rantaro was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? So everyone that mm -hmm. went in the library. The six people that went down to the basement with Rantaro. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk to them first. Okay, well, we've talked to a couple. Hmm. They should have been in the game room, along with Rantaro. Let's ask them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Oh, it's just Maki, huh? Looks like we're just... Oh, it's gonna be a little bit of a goose chase just trying to find everybody. There's six people I need, so... So what was it? It was Maki, Tenko... Uh, oh my god, so Rantaro obviously not. Uh, Himiko... Oh, I've already forgotten, like, almost all of them. <laughs> Maki, you were in the game room when Rantaro was killed, right? Hey! What were you all doing down here? Rantaro was with you, right? Hey. Am I a suspect? Uh. Oh, she's getting a little dark. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, you are. You should suspect me. In fact, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Because... Someone got killed right after we all gathered here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. You don't know? So trust no one, Kaede, or you'll lose, got it? I can't get a read of Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. But... But why were you all here in the first place? It was Kaito's idea. Oh yeah, Kaito too. He suddenly wanted us to hold a strategy meeting and gathered us all together. He said we should confront Monokuma once the time limit expires. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in a fight. It... <laughs> Himiko, really? I guess maybe he thought maybe she would be able to use magic? Okay, so who... So, so far I have talked to... Maki... And that, that's it, really. I haven't talked to anybody else that was in that group. Angie, I don't know what, like, does he, did he expect her to bring down, like, the Wrath of Atua on, uh, on the, you know, Monokumas? Hmm. But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in a fight, though. I see. Kaito thought Himiko's magic, yeah, there we go, and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. Huh? What about you, Maki? Why did he also pick the ultimate child caregiver? This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez, that does sound like something Kaito would do, though. But... But why have a stra uh, strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for the Monokuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Rantaro doing at the time? Was he in the strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was, at first. But then he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. <sighs> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so he could finish the meeting before time expired. That must have happened around... Oh, that's right, okay. Um... Then did the four of you just wait in the game room the whole time? Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Oh no! Gonta! Gonta never joined us. Huh? Gonta wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gonta did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? Ew. Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um. What other two? Like I'd know. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. I don't want to believe Gonta did it. Ugh. Alright, let's go check it out. Shuichi. Shuichi, the AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be... Kaede, have you never been in there before? Yeah. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I don't think I've been in the AV room yet. So, here we go. New place. Ooh, cool. This is nice. 
Wait. Going to not murder anyone. Come on, man. I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, all right. He's got the face of a killer. No way. No, Judge Gonta by outside. On inside, Gonta gentleman. Hey. Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. <sighs> just tell us why we're still asking nicely. Are you or are you not the culprit? <laughs> or are you not not the culprit? Are you not 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 the culprit? Huh? Gonta not not. No, uh, it's just been this over and over. We can't move forward like this. Um, I think your questions are the problem. Hmm. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Jeez. That's totally off topic, Himiko. Do your own math homework. You know? Gonta, I talked to Maki earlier. You were in the basement AV alone room, uh, sorry. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? But what were you doing here alone? Um... Gonta happy to be invited to meeting, but Gonta think he not be much help, cause he not smart. Bugs so, are... Gonta in here alone, watching bug movie. <laughs> huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie fill Gonta with fight, make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But you know... What is it the kids say these days? Weird flex, but okay. <laughs> But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? With my magic. If you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Huh? Gonta no can become girl? Gonta. Then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that alright? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta. Gonta just need focus. If Gonta no focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That it, really. Gonta just want to protect everyone. I really want to believe him. <laughs> but you guys not believe Gonta, huh? Because Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Whoa! Calm down, you're making a really scary face. How can this be? Because Gonta feels so useless. After hearing his story, I can see why people would suspect him. But I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaede, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Gonta. Gonta watching bug movie to fill Gonta with fight, so Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta need focus to fill with fight, so Gon uh, Gonta lock door. <laughs> that sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Huh? If Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman. Jeez. Himiko, shut up. Stop saying ridiculous things. Honest. Gonta just want to protect everyone. Really. I really, really want to believe that, Gonta. Why? Why? Why no one believe Gonta? Gonta feels so pathetic. Well, hopefully we can find something that will, uh, you know, line up with his testimony. It's a screen for the projector, but the projector is turned off. That's true. If you roll up the screen, you could use it as a long pole of sorts. Um... So what? No. I was just thinking that it could be used for something. Used how? <laughs> Sometimes you say some weird things, Shuichi. Must be a detective quirk of yours. Uh, okay. Uh, you think so? Sorry, you can treat it as me talking to myself. I wonder what he's thinking about, like, using... I'm just looking around the room and thinking, like... What could he use the, uh, the pole for? All right, uh, what else is there in here that we can investigate? Oh, is there a vent there as well? I bet this huge speaker produces some high quality sound, but that's not relevant now. Yeah, there's something... Oh, it's a video player. I, for some reason, I thought it was a vent. Video player for watching movies. There's no video inside, though. This doesn't have anything to do with the case. Well, I mean, maybe sort of, because Gonta did say he was watching a movie, unless he put the movie back in here after he watched it. There are a lot of movies crammed into the bookcase. Uh, oh, The Legend of 1900. I've always wanted to see this film. That's... The one with the pianist that has eyes like a dead fish, right? Huh? It's like, we are doing a murder investigation right now, Kaede. This is not the time. This film won awards for its phenomenal music. U.S. audiences were moved to tears. 
Really? Well, Americans do tend to get emotional. Huh? What else do they have here? Hmm? I grabbed a movie at random, and the case was covered with pictures of naked men and women. Um... Find any movies over there? Uh, nothing suspicious over here. Let's go look somewhere else. What happened? What's wrong? Did you see something? That's wrong! I said it's nothing. There's nothing here but a bunch of movies. <laughs> I, I mean movies. Wait! Kaede, you're panicking. It's okay if you found a clue. You can tell me. Here, let me look. Ah, uh, jeez. No, don't come over here. <laughs> A couple minutes later, we were both looking down at the floor with beet red faces. It's kind of weird that what? they have like these kind of um, humorous interludes in the middle of like something so serious, but I, I, that's what I like about this game. I told you. Sorry. Let's investigate something else. There are some posters rolled up with rubber bands in a cil uh, cylindrical bucket. Is this a movie poster? They're all the same, too. I took a poster out and unrolled it. More naked people! <laughs> Ultra Despair Girls 2, coming soon? It looks like a game, but I've never heard of it before. Hmm. A high school girl with a megaphone and a serial killer. Sounds like some lame spin-off. Uh, um... Is this one of Monokuma's pranks? Yeah. Probably. That is such a tease to people who, you know, are waiting for a potential Ultra Despair Girls too. Either that's like, uh, you know, it's just a one-off reference, it's not meant to mean anything, or maybe that's a teaser. Who knows? Documentaries about insects. I wonder if Goto is watching this. Alright, so far I don't really have anything to dispute. Or confirm his uh, his claims. This door is different than the one we used to enter the game room. Um, is this connected to the hallway? You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. Oh, is it? Are they saying like he could have got out this way, snuck around, killed Rantaru, and then come back? I tried to open it, but huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Looks like it wasn't installed right. I can only stick my arm through. Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. I mean, I hate to say this, but Gonto with his strength, he could force it open, but then he would probably break it, and then it would just be busted. No. No, no. If it's Gonta, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. Oh, she's on the same wavelength. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. That's right. Yeah, he could eat this door for breakfast. Go to never do that. Go to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast, most important meal of any gentleman's day. Okay. I agree. Huh? You think Gonta could eat this door? No. Uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's dust piled up on the railing of the door. The sliding door hasn't moved in a while. Mm. Yay! So then he just forced his way through the gap. Man, Himiko is like really on him. <laughs> It's not possible. There's maybe enough space for a baseball to fit through. I guess an arm could fit through as well if it were thin enough. Oh, is that a reference to the shot put? Because the shot put's about the same size as a baseball. It's magic. So then he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps the fat off. Wait! Go to no can but then when I say that it just makes him like it seem like he's the person who did it, and I really don't want that to be the case. Okay. Oh, I can use magic. These two never have anything important to say. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered. I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um... So what? That's... I'm not sure if it matters yet, but it is a little concerning. Concerning how? Shoots. So maybe Shuichi does think Gonta might have done it. Hmm. I think we've investigated everything here too. Mm -hmm. Then what should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask the others some questions. There are still people we haven't talked to. Aww. This would be done with if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We'd already know who the mastermind is. Hmm. Oh, Kaede, you're so naive. It's not going to be that simple. 
That's true, but we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so... Talk to... Maki, Gonta, uh, Kaito, Himiko... Uh, who am I missing? Who am I missing? There's Angie. I haven't talked to Angie. So there were seven. Uh, Tenko. That's right, I haven't talked to her yet. At least they're all kind of in one central area, so I don't have to walk around too much. Oh, Tenko, I wanted to ask you something. We asked Tenko about what happened in the game room. But she only confirmed what Maki had told us and didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right! I knew it! Gonto would be the most suspicious since he locked himself in the AV room. Not to mention he's also a male, of course. Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how's your investigation been going? No. I haven't done any investigating. Huh? What? Degenerate male! Hey, degenerate, don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Angie. Huh? Watching Angie? Listen up! We agreed to investigate with one other person, right? But Angie's just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie. Um... I don't want to suspect anyone either, but girls' lives are at stake here. Okay. For an investigation like this to work, we have to trust each other. She always- oh, she has the weirdest faces. Ooh, she does not look happy right now. It's just like she just went dead behind the eyes. Ugh, don't act all male. high and mighty with me, you two-faced degenerate. No. Uh, sorry, that wasn't my intention. Alright, so not really any good information from Angie. Uh, sorry, not Angie. Tanko. Tanko. I doubt Angie will have much more useful information, but we'll hey. see. You're not going to investigate, Angie? I... Investigating is important, but I gotta say my prayers to Atua, too. Oh, Atua, please let Rantaro enter heaven safe and sound. Hey! I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Rantaro died in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? Be nice if he could. Kaede, I'm, I am I feel bad saying this, but based on past, like, Dankenropa executions, getting hit in the back of the head with a shot put is actually one of the more merciful deaths I've seen. It'll be okay. Don't worry, I'll pray hard. If I pray hard enough, I'll earn enough points to become a Platinum Disciple. Huh? Sounds like a credit card rewards program. I wonder if it's like a reference to like Scientology or cults, where they're like, give us all your money. Or they have different levels and everything. Okay, anywho. Um, okay. So, talk to Angie. I have talked to Tenko. I have talked to Gonta, Himiko, Kaito. Oh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? I'm guessing they're all gonna be on this floor here. So I don't want to stray too far. Alright, so I guess I do have to leave. I gotta find everybody else. Hopefully they're not too far away. I guess I do have to talk to everybody. Oh, hey, Kokichi. Let's be cool, and let's, like, not... I don't want you to say anything that's just gonna be useless information to try and, like, trip me up. Oh, investigating together, are we? You two sure have gotten awfully chummy. Are you here alone, Kokichi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Jeez. We all agreed to investigate with at least one other person. Was it? Oh, did we? Well, just because we agreed doesn't mean we have to do it, right? Hey. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it. Why would you do something that would make everyone suspicious of you? Right? Because I'm an evil supreme leader, remember? I'm supposed to be suspicious. Is that alright? Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. What were you doing at the time Rantaro was killed? Oh. Ooh, an interrogation from the ultimate detective himself? What a rare opportunity. Then I'll gladly answer. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I was in the library smashing in Rantaro's head. Huh? Oh my god, this is like just as what I was expecting from him. Hey, quit screwing around and take this seriously. Why? Why? Do I really need to tell you guys what I was doing? Huh? What? Because... If I gave you honest answers, it would just make everything boring, right? 
I'd rather just tell you at the class trial. That way would be more fun. Or, that would be way more fun. Shit. The trial's gonna be boring anyway, since we'll have photo evidence. Stop it. What are you saying? Anyway. I'm just saying, this is a game. Let's have some fun with it. That's wrong. This isn't a game. Rantara was murdered. All our lives are at stake. How exciting. Exactly. It's a game of life or death. <laughs> I'm so excited. I want the class trial to start already. Is Kokichi actually enjoying the situation? I can never tell with him. Like, he has moments where he seems like he's... He's scared, but he's trying to hide it, or he's just maybe pretending to be scared because that's what people expect, and then he just turns around and just starts laughing about it. He kind of gets on my nerves, but I mean, that's the whole point of his character, is just to be like, what is wrong with you? Oh yeah, guess it makes sense to investigate the room we were hiding out in. I don't know what would be here. Oh, except people. A couple of people. <gasps> Kaede Shuichi, I would like to ask you two a question. You were on the lookout inside this classroom, right? Yeah. Yeah, from here we could keep an eye on the basement, and it was close to the library, too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both inside this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. Then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But besides that, we were together the whole time, until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. Hey. Is that all you wanted to ask? Um... Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about that vent. Okibo's well, pretty, like, By intuitive as well. It appears to be connected to this classroom. The air duct in the basement hall leads to it. That's... Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept watch in this classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we were in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Okay. Kaede stacked up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory Really? Bank. I will be sure to save that important piece of information to my memory bank. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It's like we got two detectives here. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Kibo, you totally sounded like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in a past life. <laughs> a past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? <laughs> Let me guess. You wish to hear my alibi, yes? Huh? How did you know? You see. My appearance and actions thus far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. Well. So to briefly state the truth, when the body discovery announcement played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Ah, yes. The other people there with me were Mew, Kurumi, and Samugi. The monocups prepared the meal for me. It was listed on the menu as... Pasta that tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grand kid's birthday cake or some such. That pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That concludes my alibi. I do hope it could be of some help. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Yes. Ah. If there was something to note, it would be that Mew was tinkering with something or other. There was also a brief period of time where Sumugi left to use the restroom. Hmm. A restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. She could have gone to the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Uh, um... Someone else? But who? Yeah. I don't know, but I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. Oh, something I need to check. I'm guessing the vents again? Oh. Um... Oh, I guess I didn't talk to Kibo, did I? He just talked to us when we came in. Hey. Hey, Kibo, what were you doing and where... Uh, what were you doing and where during the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah, my alibi. Oh, okay. Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? Well... No, I'm just searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. Um... 
So you don't have an alibi? But Ryoma said he was alone in his room, too. Jeez, way to throw him under the bus. That was not my intention. But I see, both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of these two is the mastermind. Um... Am I under suspicion because I don't have an alibi? No. Oh, I feel bad for him. He seems sweet. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. Unlike me, I'm a total robophobe. You guys know this. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. Okay. Putting aside things about Samugi, now we know everyone's alibi. What about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone because no one would bother hanging out with him. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so no one would corroborate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're a detective and I'm not. So, they said Smoogie was in the library, so I'll just head back down there and talk to her. Alright, so counting the people who don't have an alibi or people that, like, were not accounted for during the time. So there's Ryoma, Kibo, Samugi, Gonta to an extent. Although the thing about the door made it seem like... Oh, uh, sorry, um... I was forgetting, Kurumi. So Kurumi was in the cafeteria, so she's she's good. So there's a couple of people that don't really have alibis at the time of the murder. Hey. Hey, Samugi, I need to ask you something. Uh... Hmm. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. Hmm. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Su uh, Samugi's skirt and began to lift it slowly. Got it? I'm gonna lift your, your skirt, Samugi. You okay with that? Uh. Wait, Kaede. <laughs> you better talk or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Shuichi to see. And then I'm going to tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. I understand. <laughs> I just need to talk, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, took you long enough. Oh. Well, I can't let Shuichi's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. No, they won't get dirty. Shuichi. Are you saying you've seen dirtier, Shuichi? What's wrong? What did you want to talk about? You know? I'm just going to cut to the chase. Since you're the ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone, even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters. I don't cosplay real people. Or rather, I can't. Um... You can't? Isn't it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and... You can't! Cosplay isn't a disguise. Huh? Oh, sorry. I can't... Well, you'll probably have a hard time believing me if I say it, so I'll show you. Show me how. Come on, Kaede. Uh, oh god. Oh wait. What what's happening right now? What's happening? Sumugi grabbed my hand and dragged me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Um Are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now. There's no way I'd do a thing like that. Hey! Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Huh? What? Why? Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? But... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up. Huh? What? I slowly undressed and handed my clothes to Samugi. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed into my clothes. Yeah. Okay, now you can look. Oh, Jesus. Huh? A gross, bumpy rash has spread across Samugi's body. So what, she's literally allergic to cosplaying as real people? Hi, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Ah! This isn't cosplay of the spiky-headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is cospox, <laughs> an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. This is the price for my power. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. We exchanged our clothes and returned to the library where Shuichi was waiting. Kaede's like, I am forever scarred by that. 
<laughs> yeah, she is too. Kaede, what's wrong? She's like literally crying. Uh, Sumugi couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand since you saw the cospox, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You breathe life into your characters. It's almost like you're summoning them. Ew, get that drool back in your mouth. Don't be like Tenko. From fiction into the real world, like an oracle channeling the gods. That's why I can cosplay various cra uh, characters from across the wide world of fiction. But it's impossible to cosplay someone who exists in the real world. Right? Because that's not cosplay, it's just impersonating someone. Uh, I, I really didn't need that long explanation. Oh, we're done! Okay, cool! Huh? This chime! You bastards! It's time, you bastards. Time for the long-awaited class trial. Not that! No, it's not. We're just announcing that the photos are ready. Oh, don't interrupt me. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Huh? Hey, does my face look weird to you? Has my face always looked this weird? So long, farewell! I mean, I don't know how long I've been playing, but it seemed like... It, for the usual oh. investigations, it's... It was pretty short, so it looks like we're not done yet. Did you hear that, Shuichi? The pictures have finally been developed. Let's go, come on, get a move on. Ah, oh. oh, wait, Kaede. I am very interested to see these pictures, but I have a feeling they're not going to show much. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. I couldn't stay put, knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Oh, Kaede, you sweet summer child, if you think that this is going to be the be-all, end-all. This is going to, like, be all that we need, if only that were the case. I ran a full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Kaede, you shouldn't get so worked up. Please. I can't help it, we're so close to learning the truth. We're gonna find out who the mastermind is. Rise and shine, or sign! <laughs> Oh, you came! We're intruding! Sure did! I came to see you, Toots! You're lovely as always! Oh. Monosuke, you're such a flirt! May I join you for a drink? So what are you saying? Drink as much as you want! I got cash to burn! Mm -hmm. Thank you! Excuse me, can we get a bottle here? <laughs> this is great! Oh, geez. How long are you guys gonna do this for? Oh. Take this! <laughs> It's the photos. They're separated into envelopes for each camera. What happened to him? Use them to take that bastard down. It's all up to you now. Dead. <laughs> Dumbass! I'm so rich. What's a journalist gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Monofani, wanna get out of here after your shift ends? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district? Salary? Do you have another job? Okay. So long. Well. Alright, bye. <laughs> Let's just check out these pictures. Uh, um... Anyway, it looks like we've got the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Oh, jeez. Okay, hi. Hi, everybody. Um... Kaede, are those the developed photos? Right? The culprit should be in those photos, right? <laughs> How exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the culprit's face. Alright! Let's take a look. Um... Let's look at the photos taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Let's see the first picture. Uh. This is when we arrived at the library, so it took a picture then. Ah. Yeah, that was right before we found Rantaro's body. <laughs> it's a pretty bad picture of me, but don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. Hmm. Alright, let's get to the next one. Um, um, this is... Is this... It's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. It doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show the next picture. Yeah. Okay. It seems as if... This is everybody else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself included, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know... Hey, these are all pictures of when we found the body. Hmm. There's one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Oh! Huh? Oh, okay. Shuichi? Oh. 
Oh, sorry, it looks like I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the camera. Yeah. What do you say? Uh... Um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clues that will help us either. I... <laughs> okay, so nothing there. The camera pointed at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures that are saying it had to have been someone who came from the other entrance, the rear entrance, or possibly the vent, even though there was no way for someone to have gotten through the vent. Neither Rantaro nor anyone else who could be the culprit are in those photos. Hey. Did they both enter to the back door then? That is correct. Let's examine the photos taken by the camera near the rear entrance then. Yeah. Only two photos were taken by the camera pointed at the rear entrance. Let's see the first picture. Uh, Rantaro! I knew it. So Rantaro went through the rear entrance. Perhaps no one would see him. Or perhaps so no one would see him. I see. I thought it might be possible he was moved to the library after being murdered. But that does not appear to be the case. If so. So that means he was killed in the library after going there of his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe it'll show the mastermind. What is it? What is it? Ah! Shuichi! Frick! Sorry. Me again. This is from when I was removing the camera. What an attention hog. No. He had no choice. To remove the cameras, he had to be close to the sensors. Ah, just as I suspected. Nothing. Um. Nothing. It's all for the rear entrance, just these two photos. Huh? Culprit not in rear entrance photo either? Why? What does this mean? They're not in either the front or rear entrance pictures. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey. Shuichi, don't you think that's weird? Come on, uh, come on, mm. come on, dude. Like, please. Let's look at the pictures from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The camera should have captured the moment the mastermind opened the door. It's gonna be Shuichi again. I hope that was the case as I removed the photos from the envelope. He's just, like, photobombing every picture. There were two photos. The first one was... Uh. Rantaro. Hmm. But if Rantaro was the one who moved the bookcase, then... Oh. He must have known about the hidden door. Could it be... Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? I see. Yes, that is a possibility. Do you understand? For now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Huh? What? Hmm? What? Oh, so he's holding something. He's holding, uh, the pad. But is it his or is it someone else's? What's Rantaro doing? Yeah. It looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Oh. I did notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensors for this camera was switched off. If so. In that case, this photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. Hmm. But that would mean that Rentaro noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. By the way. Moving the bookcase triggers the sensor, which in turn activates the camera, right? And it looks like the flash was on, which I thought... I think Mew said that she made sure that the flash wouldn't go off. Oh, maybe Mew... Did Mew maybe have something to do with it? Like, she said... I was, I'm sure she said she turned the flash off, but you see there, it looks like the picture, as it was taking it, flashed, and maybe that's why he saw it. Maybe she wanted him to notice... But then she doesn't know what we were using that for. I don't know. But either way, it definitely looks like a flash went off there, even though there shouldn't have been one. I don't get it! Who cares? What happened to the culprit? And then, that's where he got hit, because he was over by where the camera was, I believe. How come they're not in any of the photos? It seems like it. This last photo must have been taken shortly before Rantaro was killed. However... If so, then the culprit should be pictured right behind him in this photo. Uh... <laughs> it's, it's Ryoma, because he's so tiny that you can't see him. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? Just as I thought. That's all the photos. So we gain no new clues, and we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what a fucking waste. Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the one that showed the culprit. <laughs> How 
rude. I developed all the film that I was given. I swear by my almighty daddy that I did. You bastard! Those are all the photos from the hidden cameras, so relax and get to deducing. Don't screw around! These are seriously all the pictures? You gotta be kidding me. The culprit's not in any of them. If the culprit didn't go to the library, then how did they kill Rentaro? Uh... So this must be why they call it a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? Okay, I had a weird thought. Unfortunately, it's pointed to my boy, Gonta. So. They were talking about how you could only open that door in the AV room just a crack. Okay, this is, this is really far out there. It's probably not even possible. But I'm wondering maybe if... If someone was in the AV room, I'll say Gota. Maybe, and then there was something Shuichi said about, like, removing a pole. Maybe, like, Gonta took it... Oh. I just had another idea. I was saying, like, Gonta, maybe he used the shot put, and he used the stick. And he hit the shot put through the gap in the door, and because it's across from the library, if the library door was open, maybe it went through there, into the library, and hit Rantaro in the back of the head without him actually having to go to the library. But then I was thinking, Ryoma's a tennis star. I know shot put's not tennis, but maybe he threw the shot put too. But they do say that the shot put's heavy, and Ryoma doesn't seem like he's very strong. So that is my weird theory, is that maybe Gonta hit the shot put, or threw the shot put through the little gap in the door in the Avery room into the library and hit Rantaro. So that way there's no pictures of him, but he was still able to kill him. That is my weird theory, and it's probably not even close to being right. But that's what I've got so far. I'm disappointed. Ah oh, man, I've only been slacking off because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. Uh, no. Hey man, you wanted an interesting class trial, you're gonna get it. You should have been helping us investigate. By the way... Hmm. Rantaro had his monopad the whole time, didn't he? Don't you think any- uh, do you think anything was in it? Yeah, I, I did think that was weird. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of pertinent information. I doubt it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his monopad with him. Okay. I inspected his monopad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh, man. Oh, man. So it's got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh... Why? Why aren't they in the pictures? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. <laughs> so why the hell? Uh, um... Kaede... Now, it's the class trial. Alright! It's time for what you've all been waiting for! The class trial! Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard! Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side! From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial! <laughs> See you all there! Huh? Time already? That is correct. It seems we have no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a pain. Me neither. What a pain. <laughs> what are you, scared? An NPC like you has nothing to be scared of. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my backup is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. And then everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. Once again, Kaede, you sweet summer child, you do realize that there is many more of us that will be killed off. Let's find this mastermind, and if it's a man, let's beat him to death. Jeez. Isn't beating them to get to death going a bit far? Everyone followed Monokuma's instructions and walked toward the courtyard. Everyone us, you know, of course, except for Shuichi and I. Are you okay? Kaede, really, are you okay? Sorry. I didn't mean to worry you, I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we looked at the photos. But I can't give up. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, Shuichi. Right? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? 
All right, this is it. Yep, Shrine of Judgment. All right, so we will leave it here. The class trial will start in the next episode. I am super excited for it. Hopefully it'll be a good one. I'm sure I'll have some more crazy theories that will pop up uh, during the trial. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, bye.